this is the back of the book. <laughs> Today I'm here with a review for All of This Is True by Lygia Day Penelflor. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It's real confusing, okay? But I was sent this book by HarperCollins in exchange for my honest review. So thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending me this book because I absolutely loved it. I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It follows four teens who become obsessed with a book by famous author Fatima Rowe. They hatch a plan to get close to the author and become friends with her, and their plan actually ends up working after they attend her signing for her new book. Fatima begins to manipulate them in order to write her next book, and that's when a devastating secret turns their entire lives upside down. I was honestly hooked by this book right from the first page. It's told in a super interesting way. It's a mixed media book. I absolutely love this format. Night Film by Marcia Passell is one of my favorite books because of the mixed media and this book was also super cool that way. It's told through text messages, emails, journal entries, as well as a book inside of a book. It was really cool to see how the author interwove reality into the fictional story inside the book and how closely they actually related to each other. The way that the author incorporated all the formats together was so well done. It didn't feel like you were jumping around from story to story. It all felt like it flowed very well together. I think that the pacing of the book was exceptionally well done. With each turn of the page, a new small detail is given to you, which kind of unravels the entire story before your eyes. It's definitely a very slow paced psychological book that really makes you think about things. The four teens, Soleil, Miri, Penny, and Jonah are all so unique and flawed in their own way. It was really easy to tell them apart. In a couple of the reviews that I read, a lot of people are saying that they couldn't figure out who was who, but personally I thought that they all had a very different personality and once you got to know the characters you could really tell who was who based on the way that they talked and what they believed in. I really liked how each of the girls were very different on their viewpoint of what actually happened with Fatima Rowe for the past several months of their lives. It was really interesting to see what each girl brought to the table. I also think that Fatima's character was really well done. It was really interesting to see how she actually manipulated each of the teens in a different way in order to get the story that she wanted. The only reason I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 instead of the full 5 stars was because I was actually able to call the huge twist. I called it very early from the start so it was just kind of like a bummer to be able to call it but I still really enjoyed the book nonetheless. I will definitely be checking out more of this author's work. I just think that it was such a cool concept and super addictive. I finished it in one sitting because I just needed to know what was going to happen next so I definitely recommend going to check it out if you're interested when it comes out on May 31st 2018. Alright guys so that was my review for All of This Is True by that author because I still can't say her name. It's Lagia de Penaflor. Probably still wrong, but definitely check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending me a copy. I really appreciate it and it's one of my favorite books now. So let me know down below if you plan on purchasing the book or if you want to read it and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!